as serpents and innocent as doves. Did that happen in the New Old Testament? Let's talk about that. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday. This Sunday is Palm Sunday, so if you want to come at 11 o'clock, uh, get your palms. <laughs> Not these palms, but palm branches. Wow. Um, so we're having the service at 11 o'clock. I have to duck out a little early because I'm going to a church in Lancaster to talk about the mission trip, but uh, Dean will uh, take care of the rest of them. So, wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Jesus told us to actually be like that. So wise as serpents, not be like the serpent evil thing, but wise to know when to do something, how to do something, and for what purpose. And not to hide things, but to, to reveal those things as needed to bring people to Jesus. And then innocent as doves. So if we're innocent as doves, then we're going to use our wisdom in an innocent and logical and loving way. And so I think that works in every situation, in every culture, in every you know person who is a Christian, um, to be wise and innocent at the same time. So we have all this knowledge, but we need to use it at the right time, at the right place, for the right reason. And so Esther actually practiced this before Jesus spoke it in the New Testament. Check this out. Esther chapter 2 verse 10 says, Esther had not revealed her nationality and family background because Mordecai had forbidden her to do so. Now, why would he do that? Well, first of all, they were in captivity, the Jews. Uh, second of all, that was his kind of his only kid that he adopted and he kind of like wanted to look out for her. Actually, the next scripture says that he came every day and walked the court to see how she was. Um, remember her Two parents died, and Mordecai adopted her, and they became family. And so Mordecai was very, very protective of Esther. And so he knew if she revealed those things, that she probably would be you know, ridiculed, made fun of, or even killed. Uh, because there were some people in the government at that time that really hated Jews. Yeah, his name is Haman. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get to him. Um, and so... I think Mordecai and Esther were practicing the scripture. It was wise for them not to tell yet, because they didn't really come up. I don't think they would have lied if somebody asked them. But it wasn't for that time or that purpose to reveal this. You know, sometimes uh, the scripture says, those who talk much are foolish. And so I could just see Mordecai saying, hey, don't be a fool. Don't sit back and say, hey, you know, I've done this, 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 and tell your whole background. And, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt somewhere. But if you read on in Esther, she does reveal it at one time, and somebody gets killed for it. But we'll see that in a little bit. So, bring it back for today. Wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Let's be like a Mordecai or an Esther. To say, hey, yeah, I'm a Christian, but you don't sit back and <clears throat> start pointing the finger and judging everybody in the world or condemning them. You know, you sit back and you love and you, you practice your faith. You, you, you are innocent. You are uh, putting it out there that you're different, even though you're hanging out with people, that, you know, your actions speak louder than the words. And then at the right moment, at the right time, at the right place, you pray for God's wisdom to reveal those things. And he does it. He changes people's lives. He changes people's minds. He changes people's hearts. Because you're not pushing it on them, but you're having a relationship and you're building that rapport that doesn't go with the world saying, oh, you're a Christian? Oh, I'm not listening to you. So I think Esther and Mordecai had a very wise out outlook on this. And uh, I think we should do the same. Just my encouragement for you today. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a great Tuesday and be like Esther and Mordecai. Love you. Bye. Absolutely no bad. It wasn't Mordecai.